Welcome back. Regardless of what the weather is doing outside, the calendar does not lie, friends. Spring has officially arrived, and the change of season means the return of track and field to the Midco SN landscape. We'll be covering the track beat in a big way this spring here on Midco Sports tonight, and we'll start with one of the top early season indoor meets around. For the details, let's welcome in a man now in his fifth year of heading our track and field coverage and the most enthusiastic TNF supporter you'll find. It's Mr. Alex Heinert. Thanks, Kelly. Yes, track season has arrived, and in my opinion, there is no better time of year. The outdoor campaign might not begin for a few weeks, and yes, the indoor season is short and cannot get you qualified for a state meet, but it doesn't mean these indoor events are not important, especially ones as prestigious as the Dan Lennon Invitational in Vermilion. The big schools opened up proceedings Monday in the Dakota Dome, and there were no shortage of former state champions in attendance, starting in the girls' 60-meter hurdles. West Central's Avery Schmeichel won this event as an 8th grader last year, and she repeats as a freshman, 9.39 seconds on the run for the reigning state 100-meter hurdle champ in Class A. Harrisburg's Erin Kinney, a runner-up in the 60 in 2017 at the Lennon, she would move up one spot on the podium in 2018 by nearly two hundredths of a second. Feels like Erin's been around for a long time. She's only a sophomore. She's going to be one to watch in the AA sprints this season. Boys 60 meters. Talk about a great matchup. Lincoln's Colin Bryson, the reigning 100 and 200 meter champion in AA, versus Brandon Valley's Braden Peterson, who was top three in both of those races at State a year ago. And it's Peterson who gets the nod this time by two one hundredths of a second. Just a guess, but this will not be the last time that we will see these two seniors duel this spring. From the Who Needs Practice file, Lincoln's Courtney Klatt was all of two days removed from leading the Patriot basketball team to a third place finish at State. And all she did on Monday was defend her Dan Lennon title in the mile and run a key leg on Lincoln's winning 4x4 relay team. Courtney Klatt, a big reason why the Patriot girls are the team to beat once again this spring in Class AA. I just finished my basketball season, so I wasn't really expecting that much. I just need to keep working harder do extra reps in the workouts and longer runs. In the boys' mile, more Lincoln dominance as junior Jack Elliott and senior Ike Mendel go 1-2 for the Pats. Elliott won the AA State Cross Country title this fall. He'll be one of the favorites to take over for former teammate Gabe Peters as the top distance runner in the class. It was a big day for Lincoln all over as the Patriot boys would win the 4x2 and take seven of the top eight spots on the podium in the long and triple jumps. Nice work by the Lincoln girls as well as they take the 4x4 to go along with individual wins by Klatz and standout Riley Heyer in the triple jump. The best performance in a runner-up finish, Roosevelt's Jasmine Greer, the reigning double-A shot put champ. The sophomore threw 41 feet, 7 and 3 quarters inches on Monday. That's a full 7 inches better than her state-winning throw from last May. And another shout-out to Harrisburg's Nolan Hoback. He goes 14-6 to win the pole vault. That's a really solid vault mark for the first meet of the season that would have placed third at state in double-A last year. Monday was the big schools. Yesterday, the small schools took center stage with nearly 1,400 entrants flooding the Dakota Dome. And like the day before, lots of local talent on display starting in the 60-meter hurdles. And the title goes to Menno's Ashton Vaith. She edges Irene McConda's Shannon Sokolowski. Both are going to be in the conversation for a state 100-meter hurdle title in the Black Hills this May. Parker has a number of great sprinters back this year, including Carly Peters, who won the one, the two, and the four at State in 2017. But Carly would take second in the 60 yesterday to her teammate, eighth grader Alexis Even, just three hundredths of a second the difference. Expect big things from those two this year, even with the Pheasants now competing up in Class A. Sioux Falls Christian coming up a Class A team title. A lot of pieces back for the boys this year, including Justice Adams. The senior wins the 60-meter hurdles in a time of 8.25 seconds. That sets a new Dan Lennon record in the process. I mean, last week was my first time coming here, and I think kind of helped set me up for this meet. And then just really staying consistent with training and lifting, and just working hard in practice has really helped me get to the point I'm at. I guess it's just a good sign, I guess, of the hard work I put in, and just excited to see what the rest of the season looks like. 
Sioux Falls Christians boys had a big day Tuesday. Cooper hit won the 400, Lance Van Z won the 800, and the Chargers took the 4x2 and the medley. And on the girls' side, SFC freshman Lexi Unruh was the only other Dakotan besides Even and Vaith to pick up a win. She takes the high jump with a 5-3 clearance. All right, thanks, Alex. Be on the lookout, Track Nation, as we'll have a comprehensive track preview for both North and South Dakota coming your way in two weeks here on MST. Coming up after the break, Jody and Jandy reflect back on the high school basketball season. They'll check in on how teams were supposed to do versus how they finished the year. That's next when Midco Sports Tonight returns. <laughs> 